Hey there, you rambunctious group of mavericks. Happy homecoming week. This week is going to be hauntingly full of events, so make sure you have your head on straight and are ready to have some mavtastic fun. Again with the puns? Oh my god, they just keep getting worse. Homecoming week is an annual tradition here at Mesa, and this week's lineup will not disappoint. At least, not disappoint like Sid's jokes always do. I hate your guts, Justin. Your presence in the room makes me want to puke almost daily, Sydney. In other news, Mavs, I know we're all in desperate need of excitement in our lives right around now. We're all fresh off of fall break, and the feeling around campus right now is similar to what some would call post-concert depression. You know, when you finally get tickets to go see your favorite artist, have the time of your life, but then the following weeks just feel so much worse in comparison to that high. That's that post-fall break depression for you. The weather lately hasn't been helping either. How are we to live, laugh, love in these conditions? Well, fear not, Mavs. Not only does this episode highlight the homecoming events of the week, but it will always, but as, it as always will feature Justin and I's bright, smiling faces. Frankly, our backs here at CMU TV are hurting the weight of carrying this university's entertainment on it. No comment, just roll it. All right, Mavs, are you sitting down? Do you have your planner? Are you in the right headspace to handle the sheer gravity of the information we're about to dump on you? Are you in a safe space? I'm just checking in. I know this show can dump a lot of info on you at once, so I just want to make sure our viewers are in the best possible place to prepare for their minds to not only be blown, but updated. With that being said, let's hop right in and hear the exciting news and updates for the week. On Monday, the second mod begins, which means we are officially halfway through this fall semester, Mavs. We made it through midterms, fall break, and now homecoming, as the great John Bon Jovi, better known as the man who was plastered all over our mother's rooms as teens, once said, whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. That was for you, Mom. And I guess you too, CMU. We got this. On Tuesday, join PAC for their first homecoming week event, a free photo booth. Head to the UC first floor from 5 to 7 p.m. with your favorite Mavs swag and get a picture ready. Bring your friends, bring your club, bring your coworkers, bring your grandma, bring your child, bring your pet fish, bring President John Marshall, bring the Starbucks kids, bring literally anyone, or just come alone and take your own trashy 80s self-portraits. Either way, no one loses. On Wednesday, PAC is hosting our annual Homecoming Foam Finger Giveaway and a handprint mural from 11 to 2 p.m. in the plaza. Stop by, get your hands dirty, literally, and make your mark on this year's mural. The theme for Homecoming this year is People of CMU, so this mural will hopefully reflect as many of our chunky little monkey fingers as possible. Also, admissions is tabling in the UC for National Transfer Student Week from 11.45 to 2.30. If you transferred to CMU, please stop by for some free MAV swag and a talk with some fellow transfers and transfer counselors. And if you're planning on transferring out of CMU, don't show up. You're a traitor. You loser. Imagine transferring out of here. What a sad choice to make. I personally hope you have a terrible rest of your semester, and that's very not Mace Amazing of you. On another note, we do have another new update segment with our new Update Street correspondent, Jackson. What are you up to out there today, buddy? What's up, Mavs? It's Captain Jax, back for a new segment. So today, we're going to be asking any, anybody who comes by, pretty much, movie trivia from me and all of us at CMU TV. So this new segment is called Movie Facts with Captain Jax. Let's get into it, yo. So I'm going to summarize a movie in a sentence, and you guys have to guess the movie. Okay. All right. <clears throat> in this movie, everybody tries the ice bucket challenge. What movie is it? Titanic. That is correct. We got a winner. We got a winner. We got a winner. Let's go. All right. So a single father tries to solve universal hunger with his stone collection. What movie is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> Infinity War. It's a Disney movie, technically. 
All right. Uh, family band tries to escape Nazi Germany. What movie? <laughs> Sound of Music. Based on a true story. She tries to save her kingdom, and she doesn't ever marry a prince or find true love. I'm going to go with Brave. Moana. Same plot, same plot. Like, because Disney, they're, they're known for recycling their plots, you know? Thank you. <laughs> so in this movie, a man drives himself psycho in a hotel during winter. What movie is it? Um, man, I know this one. She knows this one. Yeah, I know it's in the Stanley Hotel. Getting there, getting close. Give me a hand. I'm not going to tell you what it starts with, but I will give you a uh, Jack Nicholson. No, I, I, I know he's in it. I just don't remember the title. Uh, it starts with a the. Oh, the Shining. Yeah. There we go. There we go. She gets it, folks. She got it. She got it. All right. Virgin Lights Candle. What movie is it? 16 Candles. Wrong. Hocus Pocus. Oh. It's okay. Not everybody gets it. But. All right. Dog Runs Fast. What movie is it? It's a Disney movie. Up. <laughs> uh, close, but it's actually Bolt, a slightly forgotten Disney movie. Rebel Scum with Daddy Issues. What is it? Suicide Squad. Uh, nah. The new Star Wars sequels, unfortunately. All right. So in this movie, the couple dies before they honeymoon. What is it? Don't know. Romeo, Romeo and Juliet. Oh. I hear that's a good movie. What do you have to say about your drip? I've got to say that uh, it's only drippy because it's CMU. This dude gets it, folks. Two words. Big monkey. Got me there. I don't know. Big monkey. Big monkey problems. Big city. What movie is it? Jungle Book. It's King Kong, but same ballpark, I guess, but Virgin Lights Candle. What movie is it? Virgin Lights Candle. Uh, Twilight or something? No. Nah, Hocus Pocus. It's Halloween, man. Uh, Twilight is not a Halloween movie. Alright, so a magical boy fights a bald and no noseless villain. What movie is it? Uh, can you say it again? Harry Potter? It's Harry Potter, man. Congratulations, you win a prize. A crisp high five. That's what he won, folks. Thanks, bro. All right, uh, so that does it. As a film major, I feel somewhat disgusted and disappointed that not everybody on this campus knows their movie trivia. But hey, um, I still get paid to do this. Maybe Dylan will quit so I can get his stipend. Anyway, back to you in the studio, Sid. On Thursday, ASG is hoping, hosting an open panel discussion as part of John Marshall's Investor. Join ASG in the discussion of their importance of shared governance in the point from 4 to 5.30, featuring new and old ASG student leaders. Also on Thursday, BSA and PAC are hosting a lip sync battle in the UC ballroom from 7 to 11 p.m. There will be a nacho bar, a big prize for the winning lip sync team, but I will warn you, the expectations are high. If you don't come ready to give a Tom Holland level performance, just give up now. On Friday, head to the Homecoming Carnival on Delta Field from 5 to 8 p.m. There will be fun booths from clubs, orgs, and residence life. As always, the Homecoming Carnival is all fun and games until we find the inflatable boxing ring. Then things get personal. Friday also kicks off Parents Weekend. You can bounce between the carnival and a parents barbecue on the alumni quad from 5 to 7 p.m. If you're brave enough to invite your parents to see you here at CMU, or if you didn't have the choice and they're just coming no matter what, this is the one weekend you need to pull yourself together just for like a little bit. They'll leave come Sunday and you can retreat back to hibernating in your dark, damp little dorm room like the broke college weasel you really are. 
If you really want to spice things up, cap the night off at the annual homecoming bonfire at 8.15 p.m. on the alumni quad. Now, freshmen, you should know that it is a school tradition to gather around the campfire and angrily burn a sculpture of the mascot of our homecoming game rivals. You know, as sane, completely sportsmanlike people do. This year, we are playing the School of Mines, which notably has not one, but two mascots. I kid you not, it's Marvin the Miner and Blaster the Burrow. Ooh, at this point, you people are just feeding me content. You can't tell me that's real. If it is, I don't know which one we're burning or if we're just going to kill two birds with one stone. Who's to say? On Saturday, the OP is having another Ruby Horse Thief Canyon rafting trip leaving at 7 a.m. Saturday morning. Sign up in advance, online, or in person at the OP, as spots fill up quickly. This will be a two-day, one-night trip that's a great experience for all levels. Unfortunately, you won't be venturing into the center of the earth or anything cool like that, but you'll get to see some cool rocks. For Parents Weekend, your parents are invited to join President Marshall, also known as Mr. Boot and Suit, for coffee from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. in the Starbucks Lounge. It's free caffeine that will undoubtedly get your parents too wound up for the early morning. They'll probably start trying to befriend him in the right time at 7.30 a.m., which is the power duo none of us probably need. Also on Saturday, head to downtown Grand Junction at 10 a.m. to celebrate ASG and Student Life's annual homecoming parade. This is free and open to the public, and any CMU clubs and orgs are invited to sign up. There is a $1,000 prize to the float that decorates for their homecoming theme the best. The theme, as I said before, is the people of CMU, which is literally just us, so I don't really see how you could not be within theme as long as you have people who you know go to CMU on the float, making it the people of CMU. But hey, that's just me. Uh, don't forget to keep that party going and head over to the homecoming football game at Stoker Stadium at 1 p.m. to cheer on your fellow Mavs versus the School of Mines. I don't know how bruised their ego is going to be after finding out we ceremoniously burnt a sculpture of their beloved and always intimidating Marvid the Miner the night before, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Well, that does it for us, everyone. Another week of news, another week of new segments, another week of Sydney being a little too opinionated on air. No one asked you, Justin. See what I mean? Anyways, have a great homecoming week, Mavs. Remember to get out there and try something this week. And for the love of God, at least pretend to have some fun. I've been your co-host, Justin Platt. And I'm Sydney Flotron, opinionated and proud. Until next week, keep it classy, Grand Junction. And, and stay, stay updated. updated.